Tommy, not the result we wanted today. What are your thoughts after that one? Yeah, I'm disappointed with the result, obviously. It's a game in which we put ourselves in a winning position um, and I thought we looked comfortable. I thought we had the tools on the pitch to go on. Um, but we shot ourselves in the foot again. You know, the defending in general is just not good enough. You know, and, and people can point fingers if they want. I never do that publicly. We've had a chat in there and I've made my feelings really clear. There's not enough of the players won their individual battles. A few did, a few did, and, I'm, and I'll keep that under my own hat. But ultimately, we didn't. We lost. We lost more one v one battles all, all over the ninety odd minutes than what we won, and that usually ends up with you with a negative result. We made a few changes, didn't we? Obviously, a couple of them forced with, with young Jasper getting his debut in the sticks. Yeah. Um, you just explain a few of those changes. Well, that's, that's the one huge positive for me. I think you know everybody. We'll say, well, why don't you go and get a loan keeper? Or, you know, the, the lad trains with us every day. He's a, he's a very, very good young goalkeeper. Not many people will give young goalkeepers their platform. And he's been out and playing at step three regularly and done fantastically well when we've watched him. He performs at a really high level of training. And then today, in fairness to the lad, never mind the penalty save, he's done no wrong. He's been absolutely let down by a back line that didn't, didn't defend correctly. And, and in front of them, or not in front of them, way to them on one side and beyond that, there wasn't enough, in my opinion, gumption shown as to how to deal with a, a very direct very basic way of playing the game we kept a clean sheet on boxing day but obviously since then we've conceded a, a lot of goals haven't we is that, is that a bit of a worry um it's not a worry because i can change it but at the end of the day it's a, it's a concern because you know you don't want to keep keep doing conceding goals you know we like we, when we play them at home this team we beat them one nil if i remember rightly we've we've had a we've had a couple of nils but ultimately i said this at the beginning of the season it's going to be a bumpy ride it always is and you have periods but listen we we, we won well last league game and we drew the one before that if anybody thought we were going to go to west brom and win then they were they were very 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 what's the word optimistic optimistic, optimistic. <laughs> we've had one really bad performance and that was at bishop Stortford, and and that Maybe is just hopefully that because at the end of the day the game was closer than four two in my opinion, but it's the manner in which we're conceding goals. It's not the way the team's set up. It's not most of the players. It is just some of the players, and it's probably ones that are liked a very a lot by the by the club, by the fans, by everything else. But it's the other people who aren't doing what we want them to do quite. But uh, yeah, it's ship will push ship out. We go back to the EBB Stadium now after well almost a month away yeah. from it. So to, you know, it'd be back in front of our own fans. We can yeah. put a, put an end to it, can't we? Absolutely. Listen, I, I encourage the, the the vast majority of the people who went up to West Brom to come come to the EBB. Listen, I think the players, and I'll give them credit here, for the first half of the season have been outstanding. They've turned the mood around at the football club. There's one or two people who'll always, whether it's with alcohol or not in the heat of the moment, say things are behind the goal after the game there that I understand why Lauren reacts. It's no, That lad's done nothing but fantastically well for us this season, as of 99% of the other lads, by the way. And people have got to realise the best run we had was them players that were on the pitch at the end of the game. That's the best 11 we've had, less Hadji Minoga. So, you know, we haven't, we haven't changed the message. We haven't changed the preparation. What's not happening is, and this happens at certain levels of football, the performance levels goes up and down. That's why certain players are at certain levels of the game. They've all got attributes, one or two attributes, that could probably take them higher. But some of them aren't getting them out at the moment because teams have looked at us and seen a deficiency somewhere with us and are, are nailing it. We've got, to, we've got to sort it. Of course, it's a roller coaster, isn't it? You've got to enjoy the good times when we're high up and, and, and just get through the yeah. low times. And, and I guess, you know, round yeah. the corner, hopefully, are more good times, right? Well, I'm sure there are. I'm absolutely sure they are. Listen, you don't, they don't become a bad team or bad in, bad players overnight. It's not that. Listen, you can see the pitch. The pitch is difficult, I thought. The, you know, there's a very strong wind. You can probably see me barnets flying all over the But down the pitch. So, in the first half, we were, I, we started the game fine and the, the game plan was going really well, but we give, gave them a penalty. I mean, we earned our penalty, we gave them a penalty, and then the defending for the second goal is just unacceptable. People on the far side of the pitch was, who were there would have seen our player run past the tackle. I just don't get that. I don't understand how that happens. So when that happens and the ball then goes in our box, we're all scrambling to try and do something. Again, like I said, there were positives to come out of this for me. Nobody realises Jasper could easily have come off at half-time because he was absolutely melted in the first half. Didn't even get a free kick for it. Um, but he, he showed he showed some real spirit, the lad, to be fair, for a debut. 
it'll go down that he conceded four goals and he'll be remembered because he saved the penalty. But he did no wrong and you know what, I'm, I'm delighted for him to have, to have got his chance.